Okay, welcome to all the horses I've tried thus far in my search for a horse. So, this first horse that I tried was named Greco. He was an 11 year old chestnut warm blood. Um, we tried him out. I was like, yep, he is super great. Um, I really clicked with him. I was like, you're super great. You're super friendly. You're super good at your job. You seem like good first horse material, my friend. Um, and I was like, yeah, let's bring him on trial. And we came on trial. Um, I think this was actually about a year ago. I'm a very different person. Um, I still like that outfit, though. Um, but he was super, super great, like, the whole time we had him on trial. And I was like, dang. <laughs> um, going into this whole situation, I was kind of nervous about the vet check just based on other things I heard from other equestrians. But, um... I was like, that's not going to actually happen to me. Like, that, like, you know, you know that feeling when you're like, that's not actually going to happen to me. That just happens to other people. Uh, well, it happened to me. He didn't pass the vet check, um, like, at all. Um, the vet check day came, and I was like, wow, I'm nervous. Like, I'm really hacking nervous. Um, I was like, I'm sure he's going to be fine. Like, um, one thing that my trainer had said was, like, he's had a career. Um, he is 11, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> so, I kept that in mind, and then he just kind of ended up not being sound. Um, we vet checked him. We didn't get super far in the vet check because he wasn't sound, obviously. Um, I think it was one of his front legs, which is more significant. Um, but, yeah, that's just kind of what happened. The vet check fell through, and he just wasn't able to stay because he wasn't sound, so we couldn't purchase him. I mean, obviously you could can do whatever you want, but like, it wouldn't have been a good decision for us to continue forward with him. Then we tried out this horse named Steve. Oh, sorry if my voice is weird, I just came off the flu. Um, that's fun, I'll talk about it later. Um, we tried out this horse named Steve, who I thought his movement was really weird. Um, he felt like he was going up and down. I mean, obviously he is, but, like, instead of going forward, it was really weird. Like, you can see it right here. It's super weird. But my trainer was like, I've seen this horse before. Like, she had seen him before for another one of her clients. Um, and she was like, he has gotten so much worse since the last time I saw him. So she actually brought, was like, I'll bring him to my barn. We're going to, like, look at this guy. We're going to fix him. So she actually ended up buying him. And now he lives at our barn. And he's doing so much better. You can, like, seriously see. He looks so much better. He it's amazing. <laughs> um, then this horse is named Declan. He is a another chestnut. We've done three chestnuts in a row. Um, this is all in chronological order, by the way. Um, we tried this horse named Declan. He was a chestnut thoroughbred little guy. Um, he was nice. He just wasn't the one for me. I could kind of tell from getting on. I was like, like even before we started jumping and everything, I was like, well, he's nice. He's just so not for me. I don't see it happening for us. I don't see us moving forward together. I don't see anything. Oh my god, my voice. I don't see anything happening. But this is my first gymnastics. That was cool. Um, but I just didn't really see us getting anywhere. I He was getting me a little frustrated because I couldn't get the like go off of him, which like isn't his fault. I just couldn't get it. Um, after that, we tried out this horse named Charlie. Um, he was like nice, I guess. I was kind of down with him like on the flat. Um, we were just going around here. He was like a nice dark bay thoroughbred guy. I don't know much about him. We didn't really go that far with him at all. We just tried him. And then he goes off and I'm just like, holy crap. Um, I'm on a racetrack, friends. Um, but obviously that's dramatic. I just, it was a little scary. <laughs> Mind numbingly. Um, he was just a little weird. And then... We went up to, up to this jump. It's not this time around, but I did put the video in here so you can enjoy. Um, but I made a mistake with the distance, and he was just like, No, kid, like, what are you doing? Don't make me... <laughs> he, like, did not take my mistake, and I got thrown off. Like, he was just not going to take my mistake, and, like, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just obviously not going to work for me, because I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> then we tried the source named Elliot. Um, he was so pretty. Like, look at that. Like, who doesn't love a nice little gray horse? Um, aside from the cleaning. If you're not the one cleaning it, like, give me a unicorn. Um, 
but he was so nice like look at this horse he was super cool when he came on trial super chill um everyone was like that is a gorgeous animal um he was a thoroughbred actually he just never was on the track um he was super chill with me super cool super great and like i believe this was the first day that i rode him and he was just like yep like we're doing this kid um he was super down to help me and i was like dang his gates are so nice his jumps are so nice um he was super good like mm -hmm. oh that's my favorite outfit again the navy <laughs> um i really liked everything about him and everything was going pretty well um throughout our trial but after the vet check unfortunately stuff didn't go well again um but this time i was prepared um i had my thoughts in order um, too bad I don't have that going for me anymore. Um, <laughs> um, I try and make jokes. Honestly, I try. Um, but actually, after his vet check kind of failed, um, I was like, yeah, I'm totally chill. Like, hey, do you need help with anything tomorrow? Tries to hide pain. But, um, I was pretty chill after this happened. I was pr kind of proud of myself. Thick skin here. Thank you. Um... But he had some issues going in the flexion. I don't remember exactly what happened. I was really dehydrated during his vet check. Like, don't even ask me why. That was like, I don't know what I was doing. Um, I think this was like June of last year. But, oh yeah, because he left on my birthday. <laughs> Great. Um, but his flexions kind of went bad. Um, but he hasn't actually, he just got sold. So I don't feel like bad talking about this. Then we tried this horse named Jackson, who we actually didn't have a he didn't try him we just brought him on trial um he was this nice like dark bay thoroughbred i think he was off the track too and then i later heard that he was at one of my friend's barns before and she was riding him his name's jackson you know um shout out if you're watching this like text me <laughs> um but he was so nice like look he had he he had it down he knew his job and he was helping me out because I'm learning. I make lots of mistakes. Hi. Um, uh, but he was super nice. Like, look at him. I don't know. He was kind of like a dog to me. <laughs> but he's so, so cute. Um, and we were doing a lot. We were doing well. Um, my only thing, we were having a little trouble with the lead changes. But, like, the first day he got in, um, he was, like, fancy, like, clean, shiny coat. His halter was, like, blinged out. He was so fancy, but his vet check... I talk too much. His vet check didn't really go through. He was a little off. Not sound happening. But then we tried out this horse named Cooper soon after. Um, he was nice. He's, like, dark bay. Um, like, he looks like a warm blood, right? He's a thoroughbred. But he was 14 years old. I can't get over my voice. It's, like, weird. Um... <laughs> This is not how I usually sound like, but he was like 14, which is a little bit older than I kind of wanted. Um, but he was super nice, like dark bay, my favorite thing ever. Um, but he, he's so, so nice, but I, we didn't bring him on trial or anything. Um, at the same barn, we actually tried out this horse named Richie, which we did bring on trial. Um, he was kind of my most like long-term situation happening, I guess. Um... But he's a thoroughbred also. I think he, this guy's off the track for sure because he had the lip tattoo. Um, but he's just black, which is my favorite thing ever. Like, I love black horses so much. Like, to be on, beyond what you know, it's my favorite color. Um, and he was so, so sweet. Um, you'll see in here, he was, like, taking the long for me because I was, like, didn't have my crap together. He was like, come on, kid, we're going. Um... But he was my savior in a few of these jumps because I was like, oh my god, an oxer? We don't, like, sometimes the arenas just don't have oxers set, like, ever. I'm like, oh my god, what's happening? Richie, help me. And he was like, yep, kid, we're going. Come on, I'm fixing this. Um, but, and he was literally seven years old, like, my savior of all time. Um, but he was so, so good. And we, like, coursed and everything the day that we um, tried him. And he was just, like, going around, um, doing what I said. And I was like, dang, this horse is so good. Like, did you see that gigantic truck go by? Like, none of the horses here even blinked. There's the long. Um, um, this arena was right by the freeway. And he was just like, we're going. Um, 
he was so so chill and so so just like i don't know best temperament um he was gelding and obviously i've been saying he this whole time um but just so good so calm so chill everything you want from a horse like he was seven flying changes um he was so good so we did end up bringing him on trial um as you will see in the next clip he was so amazing he look he's so cute i can't get over this um long story short we had him on trial for these clips that you just you're seeing right now and we had the vet check and then <laughs> another sequence of events um the vet was like oh the day that we tried him he threw a shoe so we were like i mean we'll bring him on trial um so he was a little sore when we had the vet check and they were like well they just like tacked on the shoe like a week ago um less like a few days ago actually i think this was like the day after we tried him we brought him in but then the vet was like you could try losing him for three months if he doesn't heal up after three months he's probably not going to heal um so after all that happened we were like okay we're gonna lease him for three months so i think we like start in august or something um we start leasing him i had him as my like my horse i literally went out to the barn every single day i was so i was like wow i like i'll go out to the barn monday tuesday every single day for this horse um i can't wait to keep him <laughs> I can't wait to have a horse. Um, but we had him at least, and I like went, I lessened on him. I hacked him all the time. I just went and hand walked him. I hung out with him. Um, life was good. I went back in, I went to high school, my first year of high school. It's been weird. Um, with this horse. And I was like, yeah, like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> like, I have a horse, kids. Um, but, uh, long story short. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying this is like a year long story in 16 minutes. I'm trying. Um, but the vet check ended up kind of not working out for us. Um, he was still kind of sore. One of, I believe it was like one of his um, legs didn't reach out as far as I'm talking too much again. But long story short, it didn't. <laughs> the vet check, second vet check for him didn't really go through like we wanted it to, and he had to leave. That was a lot on my brain. Um, when he left, I was just like, oh my god, my life is over. Like, that was, like, dramatic, can't handle herself, Jess came out on that day. Then we tried the source named Pixie, and she was a dream. The one thing I couldn't get with with Richie was he was afraid of the cows for the three months we had him. He could not handle the cows that lived next door to our barn. We try her. I was like, done. She's, like, the best horse ever. We bring her on trial. No, nah, it doesn't even blink at the cows. She's so ahead of the game. And, like, this is the day she came. Look how chill she is. Um, like, chill like you wouldn't believe. It was insane. She was so amazing. Um, and this was also the first mare that we tried. And she was just so amazing. Like, fancy. She's, like, a little warm blood. Um, warm blood cross. And just amazing. And, like, was so down to, like, be my savior. See my fails video. Um... I like I do like move my fails into you know that's not important she was so so good so like knew her job down to be like I know what I'm doing trust me we're doing this so she was just so great she knew her she, like she knew what she was doing like look at that flying change are you kidding me <laughs> she knew what she was doing like obviously I still have my problems look at me what am I doing I'm like hanging off the side but <laughs> I am always learning, I'm always improving, I promise. Um, but we had our vet check for her, and it actually went very, very well. Um, the first, it was like raining, and she was sound, and she did her flexions well. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> like, what just happened? Like, I just came off a of vet check not crying? What? <laughs> um, like, sorry, bad sadness joke. Um, but, like, seriously, I came off of it, chicken. I was like, oh my god, that was so good, that was so good, that was so good, that was so good. I'm gonna come home and light a candle and watch TV and think about how good my life is right now. That kind of good. But then, the next few days, um, after following up what just happened, we did an x-ray. And that's kind of where it all went downhill and where the hands started shaking. I started crying. Everything went bad. But, 
she that doesn't change anything she was such a good horse but she um she had some arthritis and some bone spurs that obviously could just couldn't really be overlooked for us and like the health of the horse definitely matters and I was kind of ready to be done horse searching here but that obviously was not what was meant to happen for me so we keep looking friends we keep looking and I keep making videos about it okay next horse <laughs> this horse is named Cole he's a chestnut he's a warm blood and we didn't try him either he was from the same barn as Pixie um, he just came right in and I got on him I like visited him for like two or three days prior and then I got on him and I was like not the right fit not the right fit not the right fit and my trainer was like it's fine ride him while he's here it's cool just like make the best of this and I was like okay I'm gonna ride him I'm gonna be chill I'm gonna be calm and then I just ended up having a total mental breakdown because he wasn't pixie and I didn't have a horse and like we brought this horse in and it was just like nothing worked out <laughs> um so don't start thinking when you're on horse. Only think about riding. Don't think about other stuff. It only ends in mental breakdowns. Um, me trying to be funny. I, j I can't do it. Um, oh man. That's where I'm at right now. Me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, I'm going to hold off on making a video about all the horses I've tried until I have a horse. Well then, in that case, that video is going to be 30 minutes long. Here this is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat enjoyed my really lame jokes enjoy something about this at least you hopefully you enjoyed like 30 minutes and this is not 30 minutes like 15 minutes of raws that's cool right okay thanks for watching bye i just wanted to quickly mention that i did this entire thing in one take and without coughing because i just had the flu all week my throat burns oh my god bye <laughs>